welcome back to the spider's web and in this video we're going to be painting another fiery thing this is a fire elemental um now i know it said if i buried me right i'm back now the previous one we did was the salamander and here's the card for the salamander akashic thun salamander he says elemental Akashic Thorn is a forge master of the cult of eternal flame, creating their weapons and armour. So whether or not it's supposed to be made in uh, fire, I don't know, but that's how I've done it. This one, however, is fire. It's the fire elemental, which is this card. So, let's do exactly the same as we did before, shall we? <laughs> Start off with yellow. And we'll just cover the entire mini with yellow. Um, I may need to get some more yellow as well on here, so I'm going to. Um, there's a lot of yellow going to be used in this. I'm just going to get some water on my brush. There we are. And we're going to just slap yellow all over this miniature in exactly the same way as we did with the previous one we want to make this completely fire um, judging by the the actual miniature itself and with the other one I think I may do a little bit of um, adjustment to the um, salamander I'm not sure yet but we'll decide that later on um, we are running short of yellow again so we may need some more pop some on And there we are, there we have it, and there uh, it is. Um, we're going to just continue splatting yellow all over this until we've run out of places to paint. Um, so we need to keep going. We're doing this slightly different because we're not picking out any detail um, like um, features on this. We're just going to make it as though it's a flame. Um, which is easy enough really. Um, doing exactly the same method as we did with the previous mini. Um, we painted it all over yellow first of all. <clears throat> and we want to make sure everywhere is covered in the yellow. And then once everywhere is covered, we can then go in with. Oops, I'll be a second, just making sure all the yellow, as much yellow as I can get, is off. And then we're just going to go over with orange. We're just dabbing orange onto it and making up um, like the flame colours. The hottest part of this is going to be obviously the the base of the miniature, which is why I'm going to try and keep away from painting the um, the base as dark colour. 
but we do need to get some Durka Conga coming up for miniature. Mm -hmm. and we'll try and get as much with that. Let's give the brush a wash. And now we can get into the red. Oops, that's coming off my holder. No, we're not. We're just having a bit of fun with these. We're just trying to make it as though it's one giant flame rather than a being. Um, there we are. Now we're going to let this dry in a moment, and then we're going to come back. I'm going to add red areas. I put that red on the tail. It's because the it was looking a bit too bright. Now what I'm going to do is just leave it to dry a, a little bit. And once it is dried, we'll go over and give it a dry brush with the Wasdaka red. So Again, we'll pause the video there for a moment, and when we come back, we'll continue. Okay, we're back again, and uh, we're going to continue. As I said, we're going to go into the darker red um, with this. So I'm going to get some on my brush, and then rub it off. And uh, now we can just pick out some of the raised areas. In fact, I think what I'm going to do is get it straight out of the pot. It might be easier that way. want to do this. Um, sorry I went white for a second. <laughs> I was too busy thinking what I was doing then to think of talking. Um, I'm going to do this over on the upturned areas. Um, like, a high, like a reverse highlight. I'm going to highlight in a darker colour basically. There we are. Now that's done, we're also going to go, now go into the Abaddon Black again, <coughs> which is that one. Basically a black paint. It's going to be a very, very, very fine um, dry brush. Just like so. And this is just going to go over just the top areas. And that is 
is your fire uh, what do you call it your um, fire elemental what I think I could do down at the bottom I'm just using a little bit of the tall slayer orange <coughs> I mean just a little bit of the tall slayer orange on that flat area there just run a little bit round it there we are that will do so that is the <coughs> fire elemental um, I think what I might do actually oops Take it off the little grippy thing I've got and actually um, put the lid on the Ujit, zoom out and get my bucket of sand and actually get it sanded up. Um, <coughs> Just so you can see this one finished. Okay, I might need some more PVA. Um, I will be starting, I'm going to use this one as a paint a mini a week video. Um, that's done on one of the Facebook pages um, put a hashtag in the description bar and I'll put a link to the actual Facebook page as well it's just trying to encourage you to painting minis basically a, a mini a week um, bit of fun try and get some of your backlog of minis done um, it's a mini week for a year so it starts today um, I've been trying to find the video and I couldn't find it um, but I have actually asked on a couple of Facebook pages and somebody's kindly sent me the link to the video so I've uh, gone to the actual Facebook uh, site itself or Facebook page for the group itself that uh, did this and uh, remember to like the video not like the page and uh, I've said that I'm going to do it so it's like a, an event kind of thing a year long event where week after week after week we're just going to aim at painting a miniature um, so we're going to get it done I want to get through my minis um, I need some more glue. <coughs> um, yeah, I really need to get painting my minis because I'm getting really, really behind. Um, I'm getting more and more minis and painting fewer and fewer. So, um, yeah, I think it's about time I had something that would give me the um, kick up the backside that I think I need. So, um, I'm using this as an opportunity to try and catch up on my mini painting. Um, and it's going to be from different things each week. I'm not going to do it all from the project I'm working on at the time. Um, it's just that this one is one I've done, so I'm going to do this one. Uh, I might do another one, or the next one I might do on maybe from a completely different game altogether um, it may just be the an, an odd mini that I have um, but it, whenever you see the hashtag um, which is on the bottom of the screen uh, on the way through this video you'll know what it is so that's it almost I just need to dunk this in the sand like so yeah 
it's all covered in sand. Give it a couple of seconds in there, let the sand take hold, and then I'll move that to one side. We can take it out and have a look. Bend the sand off, and here we have it in all its glory. The fire elemental. There we are. So all that needs to happen to do now on this is, oops, the, is me not rubbing all the sand off. Um, we just need to get the base painted now, dry brushed, and then it's all done. And uh, here's the salamander. What I'm going to do on this before I do anything else is using some when I can find it <laughs> Cassandora yellow I'm going to put wash give this a little bit of a wash not a strong one All the yellow areas are going to get a wash with this. I don't think it will cover the red area. But if I beggar it, let's go all over just to be on the safe side. Um, it isn't, as I say, to be a heavy wash. I don't want it really building up anywhere. I just want a nice, gentle wash mm. itchy nose and there we are that is it I think oops There we go for that. That is our salamander. That's all I wanted to do. So we'll put that to one side and then when we come back we'll be painting something completely different. So until then, as always, take care, God bless and bye for now.